In this video we will discuss the last adjustments in this project and draw the last conclusions. The last dress up that I wanted to talk about in this project it's the sleeve that we needed to add around the cable exits. So every time you have a box made out of carbon fiber or any type of plastic and you have a cable exit that exits from the box with wires you need to add a sleeve that will go around the cable exit and around the wires like half and a half and uh, because that sleeve is going to have glue inside it so this 100% pre prevents the water from going inside the box and usually those sleeves they have to be made custom you it's it's not easy to have like a library of sleeves so i used to make those custom one by one and just save them into the same folder as the rest of the project so i'm going to show you very quick how those sleeves are made so i choose the most simple way to make them so this one for example it's very simple it's made with one rib and the profile of the rib it's like this you see very simple profile <coughs> And the center curve, it's basically the profile of the cable exit. So when we look at it like this, you can see this profile goes around this curve. It's very simple. Every time you have a cable exit that it's oval like that, you can use this technique. Then all the other that are round, like this one, can imagine it's very simple you just make a profile and you revolve it around itself and I left the sketch on the top of the cable exit because that's where the dimension will start from those cables and I added those lines to make the cable straight starting from the cable exit until the exit of the sleeve because this sleeve is going to keep those cables st straight here so they are going to start to bend just where the sleeve ends so not before the, you, you are not going to see those sleeves bending too much especially because they have glue inside and they are pretty stiff the same here now if the cable exit has the same dimensions you can copy the sleeve and just add it like I did here so this has the same dimensions the same here and probably I'm going to copy this sleeve and add it here just to see how it works the next this dress up thing are the cable ties so I added those cable ties around the PT sensor so if you are going to work anywhere you need to add all the details especially cable ties because they can occupy space and sometimes you can see that the head of the cable tie does not fit somewhere or uh, there is a problem so if you just do it you are going to notice that also you want to show if an operator sees this cable like this he needs to see a cable tie there to realize what's going on that you're trying to add this cable like this and to add a cable tie and somewhere on a drawing you need to add a dimension and to say that I want this cable tie at 11, 12 millimeters from the top of the sensor. And cable ties are the same. You need to copy, make, continue to make copies of the file of the cable tie to modify it and to add it in other places, like this. Here we need to add cable ties. That way, that's why we have this sketch here. So the cables are not going to stay here in midair by themselves. They are going to be held here by this cable tie. And again, you want to give dimensions from where the two bends to about where you want the cable tie to be. Because you don't want this cable tie to be added a little more that way. And after that, those cables will be very tensioned. So the next thing to do would be to copy this cable tie around here. Then you might want to add cable ties for each connector. 
and to do this one you just need to do one because you see they're all the same so they will have the same cable tie so you just copy and paste it and you move it for each connector the same here this needs a cable tie design and each support here needs a cable tie so again this would be the same file you just copy and paste it everywhere cable tie here 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 around those supports so take this as an assignment add cable ties everywhere just practice that here i copied the cable tie from the other ones and i need to copy it here also so i'm going to show you very quick how to copy a cable tie just to have an idea so in here i have those cable ties i'm going to copy and paste this file and immediately i will change the name cable tie support then i open it in katia v5 and immediately i want to change this name because it needs to be different from the others cable tie support then i want to save this copy and paste this in the model And I want to start by positioning the cable tie here. And the thing that I have to position is the head. So I want to look how am I going to position the head and then modify the rest. So let's just do it. And I'm going to keep rotating it. Now if we see. So this could do it. The head can stay here. Like you just imagine how you would add this cable tie in reality and that's the way to do it probably going to be something like this doesn't have to be perfect just to occupy the space where it needs to occupy it and now I want to go in this solid so this solid has its own body and inside there there is a sketch we'll go on the sketch and this is the sketch and this is a spline where you can move the points and just add it around the cable. If you have issues modifying this plane like I do, that might be because something related to the hardware of your computer because it's this just needs a good processor and a good uh, video card and good memory RAM to do this. So if it doesn't work, you might want to delete the spline and just add it from the beginning so you see you have here a small line and here a small line so you start from this line and you end up on the, at this line and you need to take in consideration the thickness of the cable tie so we have some thickness around here so I think this should do it. Let's see how it looks. Click OK. Now, there is some space here, but that's OK. So it looks pretty good. Maybe it's clashing a little, so you can adjust it a little here. After that, just copy, paste, paste. And just move it to the compass and add it to other place here it needs some adjustments and again here and so on you see it's not hard and it doesn't take too much time once you've copy it like this where you can do it and then you can check other bundles if they have the same diameter you can use it as well there too another adjustment that can be done is to adjust those cables next to each other as much as possible without clashing so the more natural they look the better it's going to be And 
and in here if you want to practice some part design you can try and design and sketch a bracket for those modules that could be a good exercise also so every time I would have something like this I would sketch a bracket and then send it to the mechanical engineer to show him what that we have a bracket here so all the time I want to put something in CAD even if it's not finished just to make sure that it's there so now we can conclude this project we can uh, call it almost finished just a step from having it finished so i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one